my lesson goal is to be able to write words into math and then math into words. When we have these words, 10 less than the product of 7f, we want to be able to write it as an algebraic expression, 7f minus 10. And when we have the algebraic expression, 7f minus 10, we want to be able to write it in words. A learning objective for today is by the end of this lesson, I'll be able to translate verbal expressions into algebraic expressions and algebraic expressions into verbal expressions. Our essential question is how are numerical and algebraic expressions the same and different? Vocabulary words. These are some words that mean addition. When we see put together or rise, this also means addition. Words that mean subtraction. When they want you to find how much more or less something is, or if they say the word descend, they will also mean subtraction. Words that mean multiplication. One of the words that we should see a lot of is the word of. Also, double, which means two times, just like twice, triple, three times, just like thrice. And thrice is one that you don't see often, but words that mean division. Remember, the division sign is just a fraction that has the numerator and denominator replaced by dots. So one of the key words you'll see is ratio. If they ask you to separate into equal groups, take half or a third, they could be meaning to divide. When we're taking half or a third, it could also, we could also multiply by the reciprocal of two and three, which is one half and one third respectively. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase involving numbers and operation symbols but no variables. Examples are like that just the number seven would be a numerical expression, eight plus two, 10 divided by five, three times four plus nine. The one numerical expression that we've seen earlier in this course is a power. Power has two parts. A power has a base and an exponent. So when we take a look at the power, two to the fifth power, two is the base and five is the exponent. As multiplication is repeated addition, a power is a product of repeated factors. The base of the power is the repeated factor. The exponent of the power indicates the number of times a base is used as a factor. When no exponent is shown, it is understood to be one. For example, seven is the same as seven to the first power. Let's translate some powers. 12 to the first power, the value of this, which is just 12. Six to the second power, or just six squared, the value is 36. That little symbol, that circumflex, is actually in mathematics called a caret. You can see that by hitting shift six. That's what it's on my um, keyboard. Two tenths to the third power, or two tenths cubed, would be eight thousandths. In this case, we're going to read this as the opposite of seven to the fourth power. You can say the opposite of the quantity seven to the fourth power either. Remember, the negative is not repeated. The negative stays outside, and we're repeating seven times seven times seven times seven. And this is going to give us 2,401. And the opposite of that is negative 2,401. And the last one, negative 8 to the 6th power. And this one will give us 262,144. We also have words that are called turnaround words, the words then and from. Then and from are words to watch out for. Then and from means to come after. So this always comes after like this. If we see five more than nine, we have to start with the nine because we're going more than nine. So our starting point is nine. Five more than it would be nine plus five. See if you could write this one correctly. Six less than 11. And if you said 11 minus six, you would be correct. Let's try this one. Three subtracted from seven. And if you said seven minus three, you are also correct. You may want to pause the video and try these and see if you could get these correct. The sum of 12 and 7, that would be 12 plus 7. 9 less than 4, that would be 4 minus 9. 8 more than 11, 11 plus 8. Twice 7, well, this one we can write it three different ways. We can write it as 2 times 7, but remember, we're going to be using a lot of variables, and x is a one that's very commonly used. We don't really want to use the dot because remember, that dot indicating multiplication, that dot may look like a what? A decimal. The way that we like to show multiplication the most is with using parentheses. So when we read twice seven, we want to write two times seven using the parentheses. So again, the product of two and five, remember, we want to use parentheses. Okay, you may want to pause it again and see if you can get these five now. 
8 increased by 5, that would be 8 plus 5. 9 increased by 3 times 4, that would be 9 plus 3 times 4. 12 subtracted from 4, that would be 4 minus 12. The quotient of 12 and 4, we can write it as 12 divided by 4, like so. We can write it as a ratio. The preferred way would be like this. Remember, the division sign is just a ratio of two numbers, a fraction, where the numerator and denominator are replaced by two. That's where the 12 is your numerator, that's the dot on the top, and the 4 is the denominator, that's the dot on the bottom. 6 increased by 17, that would just simply be 6 plus 17. Frankie types 90 words per minute. Write an expression for the number of words he types in five minutes. Five represents the number of minutes Frankie types. Think of five groups of 90. So we can write it three different ways, but remember the way that we prefer to write it is using the parentheses, 90 times five. Emily is five years older than her sister. Her sister is 12 years old. Write an expression for Emily's age. 12 represents Emily's sister's age. You wanna think of older than meaning more than. So in this case, it's going to be 12 plus five. Michael runs a, a mile in seven minutes. Write an expression for the number of miles that Michael runs in 28 minutes. 28 represents the total time Michael runs. You wanna think of how many groups of seven are in 28. So therefore we're going to divide. So 28 divided by seven. If he's taking seven minutes to run one mile, that means Every minute, he's running one seventh of a mile until he gets to seven sevenths, which is one mile, 28 divided by seven. In this case, give two ways to write an algebraic expression in words. You may want to pause. Your ways may not be the same as the way I have because there's lots of different ways. As we notice of all the different words we can use, that would mean addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I chose to write it as six less than eight as well as eight decreased by six. The next one, the product of five and four, or five groups of four. The quotient of 36 and four, or the ratio of 36 and four. The sum of six and eight, or eight more than six. An algebraic expression consists of sums and or products of numbers and variables. An algebraic expression, 0.5n, the letter n is called the variable. In algebra, variables are symbols used to represent unspecified numbers or values. Any letter may be used as a variable. Even though we can choose any letter, there are certain letters we try to stay away from, and the keyword is try to stay away from. O looks like a zero sometimes. The L looks like a one, but we use it when we're trying to find like a formula like the area of a rectangle is equal to this length times width, so we're going to use L for length. S looks like a 5, A looks like a 0, B looks like a 6, Z, you'll see a lot of people putting a line through it, and the Z doesn't look so much like a 2. The T sign can look like a plus sign. I and E are two letters we try to stay away from because they actually represent mathematical constants. The anatomy of an expression. A term, a term of an expression may be a number, a variable, or a product or quotient of numbers and variables. For example, 0.5n, 8x, and 3 are each terms. When we take a look at the variable in 8x plus 3, the variable is x. A symbol that represents one or more numbers is called a variable. The coefficient is 8. A numerical factor of a term that contains a variable is a coefficient. And the constant is 3. A constant is a term without a variable. In this particular case, let's write a verbal expression for each algebraic expression. When we take a look at the 3 times the x to the fourth power, that's exactly what we're going to say. 3 times a number x to the fourth power. A number, you may want to use it or may not. You may just simply say it in red. 3 times x to the fourth power, that suffice. On the next one, 5 times a number z to the second power plus 16. Next, 16 times a number u to the second power minus 3. And the last one has two variables, so we'll say 1 half of a number a plus the quotient of 6 times a number b and 7. You may want to pause it to see if you can try to do b's 5. Write an algebraic expression for each verbal expression. 
a number t more than 6. That would be 6 plus t. 10 less than the product of 7 and f. That would be 7f minus 10. 2 thirds of the volume of v. That would be 2 thirds v. The product of p and 6. That would be p times 6 or 6p. 1 third of the area of a. That would be 1 third a. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.